This is the Norwood stress test. It's used to assess for posterior instability of the glenohumeral joint. To perform the test, start with your patient supine and the shoulder abducted to 90 degrees. Also with 90 degrees at the elbow. With slight external rotation so that the forearm is vertical to the floor. One hand should support the forearm below the wrist and the other hand is carefully placed so that the fingers can feel for any posterior translation of the glenohumeral joint. The arm should then be passively adducted across the body until the upper arm is brought into a vertical position. A positive test is indicated if the patient reports a feeling of instability, apprehension or pain. It is also possible for the humeral head to posteriorly sublux over the glenoid labral rim. The Norwood stress test is for posterior glenohumeral instability, which is the least common form of shoulder instability, representing only about 2% of reported cases. In a normal shoulder, the Norwood test position tightens the posterior capsule, which restricts posterior humeral translation.